Hello everybody, I'm Tom and you are watching me play Elden Ring. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, so, I have a couple of remembrances that I don't think I've checked. So let's check them with this dead lady. Um, remembrance of the Natural Born, for starters. We have Bastard Stars, which is a flail that scales on int and dex equally, which is interesting. And the Ash of War Waves of Darkness, grants affinity and skills to an armament. This Ash War grants an armament, the Magic Affinity, and the following skill, Waves of Darkness. Plunge armament into the ground and release three waves of darkness. Follow up with a strong attack to swing the armament in a sweeping strike. Use belong great axes, great hammers, great spears, and colossal weapons. I mean... Sure. Um... And we also have Remembrance of the Blasphemous. Uh, the rest we have all checked, yeah. So we have the Blasphemous Blade, Sacred Sword of Rikar, Lord of Blasphemy. Remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the surface of this blade. Yuck. Now they share the same blood, pouring together as family, some HP is restored upon him defeating an enemy. That's cool. Unique skill, Taker's Flame. Raise the second, the sacred sword aloft and set it ablaze with blasphemous flames, then bring it down to fire off a forward blast. The flames heal HP from those they touch. That's an interesting weapon. I like it a lot. And then we have Rykard's Rancor. A terrible power of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, summons searing spirits that leave a trail of de delayed explosions in their wake. These spirits manifest from the Rancor of heroes who met a violent end. The Lords granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the Maw of the Great Serpent. And within the Serpent's bowels, they became the Lord's kin. That's well, an int spell. Okay. The sword is intriguing to me. A healing sword is cool. Um... But we'll leave it for now. I might grab it later. But last time... Excuse me again. I'm very sick. Uh, we made it to the Halig Tree, but we're not going to do that quite yet. I'm actually going to go explore these marks that I've put on the map. Uh, notably, there is the... Uh, there's two what look like churches. Down here looks like maybe a church, and up here looks like definitely a church. And then we have the, the tree over here as well. So I guess we'll head to the the church first. Sure. I'm going to make the assumption that there's going to be blizzards everywhere here. Oh, hello. It's one of those crucible dudes. I don't really feel the need to fight the crucible dude, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, but there's a turtle over here, which is interesting. I guess I go down to get to there. It's definitely a church, though. Jesus. A terry leaf. Oh, is that a... That's another golden seed. I wonder if there's actually more golden seeds available in this game than can be used to level up. Like, do you end the game with more golden... Like... Because at this point, it I think it takes five for me to get an extra flask. And I... Wow. Well, this sucks. I feel like under him is safer. I don't really want to fuck with this guy. I just want to get to the side of Grace. That's a big woman. Silver mirror shield, okay. Hello. Why are you so big? Just sleeping. Interesting. The apostate derelict. Interesting. What is what does this shield say? It was a mirror shield, right? Yeah. Shield of Radiant Silver, festooned with the amber and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halig Tree. Interesting. The shape is said to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an Obanoric. Interesting. 
which inspired the absurd rumour that Loretta herself was an Alba Norik. Sister of ours, let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. Move, ghost. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. A uh. young yet towering sister will give us hope now that nothing is left unfinished. I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Interesting. Teacher ahead, huh? I'm gonna rest at the, the grace and see if it changes anything. No, seemingly not. This place is safe, I can't attack. Interestingly. It's like a safe haven. Well, that's certainly interesting, but... And I'm glad I finished that quest. But let's head off here next. I guess technically this is the closest. But like... Yeah, fuck it. I'll run through the snowstorm again. I should be able to find my way there. Shouldn't be particularly difficult. Uh, I'm going to one. Uh, there's a cliff there, so I want to head this way. I should have a straight shot now, I think. Time from these ghost giants. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a, a fucking ordeal. Harpy, huh? Don't really want to fuck with a hobby. I just want to make it to this clearing to see what it is. I can summon here. Did you get annoyed when I killed the rat? A mad giant, huh? Oh, there's another one there. And there's probably like an underground area somewhere, but I can't find it. It's 
place is crazy. <laughs> that pun was <laughs> actually unintentional, but... Because, <laughs> you know, they're, they're like, literally crazy. But you like it. It's weird, this place. Like, I haven't found a... There's no door down anywhere. There's no... It's just a weird kind of area that doesn't seem to have much of a point. I mean, lore-wise, it's probably got some significance, obviously, but... <laughs> Elsewise, I mean, I guess there's a cave down here, like a mine. So I can go grab that, just in case I want to go do it later. It's the wacky crazy mine. I'm assuming because it's directly underneath. Yeah, Yelo Annex Tower. Interesting. Or tunnel, I should say. It's actually quite light in here. Which is a refreshing change from most of the tunnels in this place. Why is there a grad ahead? Don't see much regret. I mean, I guess I could do this tunnel, but... Usually they just give me smithing stones and I don't really care. Like... <laughs> generally speaking, not always, but like... I don't... Generally speaking, there's like a bunch of smithing stones and then... Not much else. And I don't really have a need for upgrading at this point. I'm gonna just bail, head to the Erd Tree, and that'll probably be the end of the uh, episode. More decks? Sure. He hasn't done his butt slam once, so the fact he's putrid is, is entirely irrelevant, which I love. Thorny cracked here and ruptured cracked here. Cool. Well, I got the cracked tears I wanted. Uh, what do they do? Out of interest? I always go to the wrong thing. Um, ruptured Cracked here, I think I know. Yeah, it's just the second one that I've got, so you can explode yourself. And the Thorny Cracked here makes consecutive attacks grow stronger in a mix of Interesting. So I guess if you, like, the third attack in a combo or whatever, does more damage. Hmm. No, I don't want to applaud that message. Um, <laughs> cool. Well, I think I've explored pretty much everything I want to here. There's a few, like, little bits that are interesting on the map, like there and over here. But I'm not that worried. I think we're going to head on to the Heliga Tree. 
next episode. So, if you like that video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Where we're going to explore the Hallig tree, I suppose. Bye, guys.